Welcome back to my channel. Today we are reviewing a fitness tracker, tracker by Yo-Yo Fit. Let's see if you can see that. There we go. This is how it came, and this was sent to me for review. Um, so let's go ahead and take it out of the package here. Box, nothing on the box. That's just how it looks. And I do use a fitness tracker. Um, years ago, I used to use Fitbit, and I tried I tried some by some other brand, but ultimately, um, I realized what I need is very simple, and I didn't need to pay all that money for a hundred plus dollar one. So I buy cheaper versions now, and so of course I was excited to try a different one. This is the one I normally use. See, it has very little steps on it. Very simple. Anyways, you open up the box, this is what you got. This is questions, cards. I don't know much about this. I'll have to look at that and figure out what all that is. Um, so, first thing is this nice little Villity bag. And out of it, we have the tracker. And this is what it looks like. Like a regular watch. It's kind of big. Look at that. I have my regular watch on. That watch. Um, okay, so it has the watch faces, notifications, alarms. And let's see, it has other uses. And I guess you can upgrade because that's what it says on here. Upgrade. So you can see that. Um, so I'm going to charge this, uh, get it set up with my phone, and play around with it a little bit, and then I'll be back later to talk a little bit about what's it look like once I get it set up. Um, I'll probably use it a few days after that before giving you my final thoughts on the watch. Alright, I am back. I have the watch charged and the sun has kind of disappeared and it's cloudy, so... Apologize for the lighting change. But anyways, I have the watch on now. It's nice and big. I actually do like the size. I was when they're when when the faces are big like that, I'm always a little afraid it's gonna be a little overbearing. But I don't feel like this is overbearing at all. I kinda like it. Um, but there are a couple things I noticed that were very different about this watch versus the other uh, fitness tracker I was using, and I'm gonna show that to you. So this one um, that I was using before, this would pull out and then I would plug this in to charge it, which I liked the charging on this better, but there's other features about the other one that I like better. Um, this has the little thing on it, I don't know if you can see it, where it's supposed to lock into your armband so this doesn't slide. But unfortunately it slid all over the place all the time and it's kind of annoying. But it was a cheap fitness tracker, so I wasn't really too concerned because as far as I was concerned, I got my money's worth. Um, but this one right here, you can see it, get it the other way so I'm distracted. You can see a, the little knob there. It's a little bit bigger, a little bit deeper. So when you do put it in, it might be a little harder to get it in, but like it doesn't budge much. Which is nice because like then this little guy is not sliding all over the place. Um, as far as setup, it was very easy to set up. Very easy. I think it might actually be more accurate than this one. Probably, I mean, price, sometimes the price makes a difference, right? Um, very easy to read. I like that. Um, as soon as I had it synced with my phone, things were popping up on it just just like I said it would. So, so far I'm pleased with it, but I'm going to try it out for a couple days and, and see how it works um, on my walks and with some of the other daily activity I do. And then I'm going to come back to you and let you know how well um, it does with the other things in my life. All right. So I have tried this watch out or fitness tracker, whatever you want to call it for about a week. And I, I did not get a lot of subs today. Um, I do like it. Um, I think my only real complaint about it is like 
I think the battery lasted maybe five days or so. And then when it was dead, it just died. You know, there was like, there's nothing on here that shows that your battery is low. Um, you can find out with the app that you download onto your phone. Let's see if I can find it. Let's see. It's every fit is the app. And it's, it's complicated the way they have it set up too. You have to go into it and hit settings and then this is ooh, I don't know if you can see it's not picking up. Anyway, nope, still not picking up. There. Nope, not picking up. Anyways, in settings it shows you right here what the battery life is of your watch and you just have to check it in order to see it. Um, but everything on here worked really well. I didn't have any problems other than that. I do really like this watch. It's very comfortable. I was afraid that because the face was so big it wouldn't be comfortable, but it's very comfortable. So um, I do recommend this watch and again I will have the link below if you are interested in getting one for yourself. I hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one.